Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. There's been exciting news in the Toronto area these last few weeks as service integration between the TTC, Toronto's transit agency, and the surrounding transit agencies in the surrounding cities and municipalities has taken a big step forward. Let's talk about it. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing as well as hitting the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. So one of the many symptoms of the disintegrated transit in the Toronto region is that each municipality, so Toronto, Brampton, Mississauga, York Region, and like, has its own transit agency responsible for serving its residents. What this means is along border areas between municipalities, though principally between the City of Toronto and various other municipalities in the 905, you have numerous bus routes and bus services which are basically traveling on corridors in Toronto to take residents of those other cities and municipalities and bring them to major destinations and subway stations within Toronto. This is actually very wasteful as you'd probably expect. The routes are really short typically because subway stations and the like are usually pretty close to the municipal borders and so you have kind of usually a poor TTC service because again it's a short route uh, but then you have a lot of buses from the other agency uh, outside of the city of Toronto operating on the same corridor and so what you actually have is a ton of buses and not really good service. Of course it's also super inefficient because the two agencies are overlapping for that section of corridor uh, while not necessarily providing good service. Now this is made even worse by a policy which is that agencies from outside of Toronto can't pick people up when coming into the city and they can't drop people off when leaving. The reason for that is that if you could get dropped off when the bus is leaving the city, well that's effectively making a local trip, right? Uh, someone at Finch subway station in Toronto's north who's traveling north on a York Region bus, well if they got off anywhere before Steeles Avenue, then that bus is serving a Toronto resident or a Toronto trip. What this means is that streets are inundated with buses which aren't actually serving those streets since they can only be used by people hopping on and then being whisked away to another city. Fortunately though, things are starting to change. The TTC in partnership with YRT from York Region and MyWay from Mississauga are going to start allowing these suburban routes which are through operating through Toronto to start serving Toronto residents as well. Everyone sort of wins in this situation because the TTC doesn't need to operate these inefficient short routes with poor frequency and hence not much ridership. And at the same time, the suburban transit agencies get to fill up their buses a little bit more and serve riders in often dense areas of the GTHA who aren't being served very well by the TTC. Even better, there's been a commitment from the suburban operators to up the service levels on these routes so that there's a TTC level of service, which is pretty cool. Again, even though the TTC doesn't always operate great routes, the service level is still often better than the suburban operators. The truth is though, this is not an optimal solution. In the long term, people who live in the city of Toronto are unlikely to see a MyWay or YRT bus and think, hey, I can get on that. It's confusing and part of the problem here is just that historically those suburban operators haven't provided service within Toronto. The reverse is actually not true, the TTC does provide service in some of these suburban municipalities. At the end of the day though, it's sort of a symptom of a larger problem. Thankfully this is all doable with the existing Presto system, though there are still some kinks to work out. Of course in the long term what we want to see is less operators and more rationalized routes. While we are seeing sort of a pick and choose operation where certain routes are being uh, replaced with suburban through operation and some aren't, you wanna see a more broad network wide integration and change. And it's not actually an easy exercise because well, it makes sense to just through operate a lot of routes, there are conveniences to some of the existing routes. So let me give you an example. The Steeles East bus, which I used to use a lot in the past, uh, doesn't just travel straight down Steeles, it turns at Young Street uh, and travels down to Finch subway station. Now, for those suggesting that most people are just making uh, local suburban trips and it doesn't matter to them if they get to the subway, I don't necessarily agree. Of course, less transfers is good, and we need to make sure that when we're rationalizing routes, we don't remove those sort of conveniences and one-trip rides, and if we absolutely must, we need to balance that with increased convenience somewhere else. Now, before I close out the video, I want to give a huge shout out to the Toronto Regional Board of Trade because it seems like after their fair integration report came out, 
the action started and that's really exciting to see how there was kind of a direct correlation there. I mean, it's been years and years I've been in Toronto and there's never been significant movement on this from at least uh, the TTC and the suburban operators. It, at least nothing that was visible to me. And it's really cool that the report on fare integration and service integration was released and lo and behold, things start happening. It's really exciting. Anyways, this is a huge step forward and I think other cities with fragmented transit systems can learn from this process we're going through. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.